Happy Halloween! So today I am working on a cooking challenge that is pastry that oozes blood. So yeah, um, should be interesting. I made a paste. I made my pastry earlier today, um, so it's all set to go. I've never actually made that recipe, and the filling that I'm going to use the blood. Um, I don't know if it'll work. Theoretically it should, um, but yeah, I'm excited. FYI, this type of costume, not, not great when making pastry. <laughs> um, it was, it was a challenge, um, that I didn't fully think through, but I wanted to dress up for the occasion, so I did. Um, so yeah, here we go. Get, let's get started. Here's my pastry and, uh, let's get started. And as always, the link to the pastry will be down below the video in the description box. And um, you'll see the um, inside as we make it because I am totally doing this without a recipe, <laughs> without previous knowledge of the inside. So um, just sorry, not without previous knowledge, just based on previous knowledge and kind of um, the texture that I want to go for. So, yes, <laughs> there we go. Let's do this. <laughs> See, this is why <laughs> sleeves are not good for baking. This is why. This is why. <laughs> okay, so I've got my pastry perfectly rolled out there. So now time to cut it out into the shape that I want to go for. Um, I'm not great at shapes, <laughs> um, like fancy stuff, especially with pastry. Um, so I'm just gonna go keep it simple and do a hand. I'm gonna use my own hand as a reference. So let's see how this works. Oh, it's a hand, not super pretty, but. <laughs> Yep, this is why I'm keeping it simple. <laughs> Let's put that aside in case this doesn't work out quite as I'd hoped. So I'm going to join the two, because it's being filled, I'm going to join the two together, mostly. Okay, that's pinched together. Could be interesting. Um, just gonna put that aside now and do the filling. Okay. So for this I'm using white chocolate, marshmallows, but I am using other stuff because I learned marshmallows as I learned with my Suki Price pizza crust. Marshmallows don't ooze out quite the way that I would want them to, <laughs> um, which is why I'm also using white chocolate and a quarter of a cup corn syrup to give it that thickness. Uh, white corn syrup, obviously, because it's supposed to be blood. So I'm gonna be using red food coloring. So I'm just gonna add that. So I'm just melting the white chocolate right now. I'm just gonna add the corn syrup. Add that white chocolate to the corn syrup <laughs> and oh yeah it's giving it a nice nice oozy consistency to it now I'm gonna add the red food coloring lots because I want it to be red not pink I think I'm gonna add some cream because that's a little too thick for consistency, so I'm just gonna play around a bit with this um, and kind of see until I get hopefully the desired. Okay, that's still pretty pink. Um, see if I can get it deeper. Oh yeah, that's looking much much better, much more red. 
much more blood like. There we go. Well, the consistency's right. The color's not great, but um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it any redder. So um, let's, let's stuff this hand and see how it turns out. Super excited! Well, it's definitely bloody. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's see if if uh, I didn't contain it well. Let's see if I can get an oozy more um, when it bakes. Okay. Did start burning a little bit, um, but <laughs> with all the that's kind of expected with all that sugar and it's at 450 degrees Fahrenheit the temperature, so. I'm not super surprised, um, but it did, I should have taken it out a little earlier, but it does seem like it kind of worked out. So we're going to cut into it and uh, see, see if it oozes. It did ooze definitely when it was cooking. <laughs> um, so yeah. Not quite the oozing I had expected, and most of it oozed out in the baking. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely interesting. So yeah, there we go. Um, I might retry it um, and see if I can get a better filling. We'll see. We'll see how uh, ambitious I feel. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Um, I haven't tried it. We'll try it. See what it tastes like. Okay, let's give this a try. Yep, definitely didn't work out how I'd hoped. Um, <laughs> it's really, the dough's really good, the flakiness is good. It's a little undercooked, um, so the ooze didn't work. I'm gonna try cooking it without the ooze, <laughs> um, just so you can get an idea of what you're going for with the pastry. Um, because, yeah, as you can see, I took it out a little too early because the over sugared filling was oozing out and starting to burn. Um, so, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but uh, it tastes good. Um, other than the undercookedness of the flaky pastry, I'm actually kind of, you can still see if it had cooked longer that it would have had that flakiness to pastry so I'm kind of happy that that part turned out um so I'm gonna I'm gonna redo it and so you'll really be able to see the flaky flakiness of the pastry because I'm really proud of that because that was interesting to work with um but for the purpose of what I needed this for it's all bloody so <laughs> um yeah there we go happy Halloween yeah, look, look at that. So much better. Look at those layers. Those layers. That I even have in my hand one as well. See how it's lay how flaky layers. That is what was supposed to happen with the pastry. So obviously stuffing it does not work. I'm gonna have to uh use the mixture and stage the picture some other way, but uh, that is what you're going for, that flaky pastry. Mm, mm -hmm. Perfect. That nice flaky layers that you can just like peel off. Yeah, yeah, see that? That is what I'm talking about. So, lesson learned, one layer, do not stuff the pastry because, unless you can do it, because otherwise the sugar will burn <laughs> and you won't cook, be able to cook it enough with the burning sugar. So, there you go. Enjoy.
So what I ended up doing, in case you were curious, was I just separated the layers of the hand and then added the filling. Add the filling after it's cooked. Do not fill it before it's cooked. That is the secret. And then when you cut into it, when you kind of gently put the layers back down and cut into it, that filling oozes out exactly how I had intended. So there you go. <laughs> Bake, separate the layers carefully, about half, put the filling in, close, and then cut. Put the topping on and then cut. That's that's how you get the ooze. <laughs> Enjoy!